few weeks ago, I decided I would go ahead and upgrade the GPU that's in my computer. It's a computer I built about four years ago when I first opened my studio. And at the time when I built it, I put a AMD RX 580 in it. Uh, it's got eight gigabytes of VRAM, and that was more than enough for what I was going to be doing with it, which was editing photos and, you know, a little bit of video work. But now that I'm working with AI quite a bit, I decided it's probably a good idea to go ahead and upgrade that GPU to get something that's a little more friendly for AI. In other words, a uh, NVIDIA GPU. So I upgraded, I put a uh, RTX 4060 Ti in there that's got 16 gigabytes of VRAM on it. And when I did right away, I encountered a problem and that problem was stuttering, basically frame skipping on videos. And it was on, I have a dual monitor setup and it was on both monitors. So, and it was, it was pretty severe. And I went and I ran various checks and in the video check, uh, it showed the stuttering to be really bad. So some of the things that I did, I, I watched a lot of YouTube videos. I visited a lot of forums trying to get advice on how to fix this stutter issue. And of course, uh, some of the first things I did was I made sure that the driver uh, that I installed for my new card was current. One of the things said to disable Microsoft Game Bar, so I did that. Uh, I made various changes to the drivers for the video card. I did some registry edits and hacks. Uh, I used DDU to then remove the old AMD video drivers that remain on my system and remove the new NVIDIA drivers that I had just installed and reinstalled the NVIDIA drivers. That did nothing. Uh, I replaced my power supply, which was a 500 watt power supply at the time with a 750 watt power supply. That did nothing. No matter what I tried, nothing worked. My next step was to update the uh, BIOS and chipset drivers. So as soon as I uh, shut my computer down and went into the BIOS, I noticed right away a garbled BIOS. And when I saw that, I knew something really bad was wrong because your BIOS should not look like that. It, it, looks, it looks pretty bad. So I powered down my PC, put my old RX 580 back in, and that allowed me get, to get back into my BIOS screen and update my BIOS and my chipset drivers. So I updated my BIOS chipset drivers, and then I uh, shut the computer down again, put the new RTX 4060 Ti back in, booted back into Windows, and lo and behold, this time when I went into Windows, everything was fine. No stuttering, nothing. So naturally I assumed that this was because of the BIOS update or the chipset driver update, but I had only connected my primary monitor at the time, not my second monitor. And as soon as I plugged that second monitor back in, I got stuttering again on both monitors. So my main monitor is connected with HDMI and my second monitor is connected on the display port. It's looking to me at this point like I probably have a bad display port on the GPU. But what I did then is I unplugged my second monitor and I plugged in my Vive headset to that same display port and the Vive looked perfect. And so, and I know the monitor is good because I've been using the same monitor for four years on my RX 580 and it's always been fine. So again, it points to something being weird with that display port. So I decided to try one more thing. And what I did is I disconnected the cable, uh, the display port cable, and that particular monitor, my second monitor, is using a display port to DVI adapter cable. So I unhooked that uh, display port to DVI adapter cable and I replaced it with an active display port to DVI adapter cable. And the difference is that active cable has circuitry built into it that helps the display port communicate better with the DVI connection. And as soon as I replaced that cable and booted back into Windows, 
right away all my issues were were solved. Uh, I had no more video stuttering. And when I rebooted and went back into my bio screen, I had a good bio screen. So everything was perfect as soon as I swapped that cable out for an active cable. So as you can see here, active display cables, they're not very expensive. Uh, they, this one here is $20 and I think I saw one there for 15. And basically, if you look at the standard adapter cables, we'll take off the active part here and just go with the standard. Those are $10. So for a difference of $5 to $10, you can get the active cable and it's going to make all the difference in the world like it did with me. So just if you're going to buy an adapter cable, I would say just go ahead and buy an active cable. And then that way you won't run into the issues that I ran into and waste a day and a half of your time trying to track down and, and do all kinds of hacks and edits and stuff that really don't do anything. It comes down to just a bad cable, um, kind of like Occam's razor. I mean, the simplest solution is a lot of times the best solution. And in this case, the simple solution was to change out that cable. So if this video helped you in any way, or even if it didn't, but you're just a super awesome person, if you hit that like button, I sure would appreciate it.